Hi, this is Bill Aaron with ECS. We're back with commissioning of the oxygen removal vents for the, for the nitrogen generator. The oxygen removal vent is installed on the riser. It's install, all it has to be is above the control valve, but also don't make it so high that you have to get an extension ladder to work on it. Make it accessible for yourself to work on, because you do need to be able to get to it. As far as the operation of the oxygen removal vent, number one, we've got a ball valve, we've got a quick disconnect as for servicing purposes, we go through a Y strainer, a float. We have a filter. The purpose of the filter is to protect the orifice that's at the end of the vent. The regulator, the purpose of that regulator is to stop the venting process in the event of a catastrophic failure and the generator is not running due to loss of commercial power and not causing a false trip in the system. On the oxygen removal vents, the first step we want to do is we want to make sure that we have an orifice installed. In most cases, those orifices are installed before the oxygen removal vents are shipped from our office. In large applications where an ECS engineer may come on site to assist you with this commissioning, the, ox the uh, orifices will be installed at that time. After we verify that the orifices has been installed, our next step will be to adjust the pressure regulator, which is used to prevent false trips in the system. To adjust that, the first thing we want to do is we want to open and close the ball valve so that we can get pressure in this chamber. From that point, with it closed, we will slowly watch the gauge slowly decrease and there's a position where it will stop. That is a position where it's set at. At this point, we might need to adjust that for the proper setting. This particular project, the ECS nitrogen generator is turning on at 25 PSI. The low air is at 20 PSI. So we want to set this regulator somewhere between the 25 and the 20. I prefer to use the low air alarm setting because that way if there is a catastrophic problem in the system, they're also going to get a low air signal which will uh, notify your customer that there is an issue. To adjust this regulator, open and close the valve and then adjust, pull down on this black tab and adjust either to the left or to the right to get it to stop at the, at the pressure you want it to operate at. Once you have it set, and you may have to repeat this step multiple times just to verify it's all operating correctly. Open, close, watch the pressure decrease and what we're looking for is the stopping point of that regulator. Once you have the regulator set, push the, the adjustment cap up to put it in the locking position, and then to start the inerting process, open the ball valve. If you have any questions, you can contact us at ecscorrosion.com or you can call us at 314-432. 1377. Thank you.